getting a chance to get away from our usual routine and, and just spend a bit of time with our uh, friends at NAC. It's been really good to catch up with the people from uh, the evening service and also to get to know the people from the morning service a bit better as well. I can be away from my routine and everything is free. I don't have to cook, I don't have to wash, you know, get that. I really enjoy it. Jonathan's testimony. It was a real blessing and very encouraging to know this young man. Spending a few days with Christian brothers and sisters and loving each other and the way we serve each other, it's just been really, really good. The whole experience has just been welcoming. Janice turning on the heater, making sure that our rooms were warm. That was a special, special thing. Join like after the talk, we got like time to share, and I got more deep chat with evening people. Tap time, I think being able to spend time with other people from the two different congregations has been great. Just sitting down with the girls and just having a good chat and being honest and sharing has been, yeah, really good. a God who does not wish anyone to perish, but all should reach with it, repent it. That's what the judge of all the earth is like. He's a merciful God. Merciful, merciful, merciful. His nature is always to have mercy. The fact that God um, is not just a God of Christians, but He desires for all people, even like the evil, wicked city of Nineveh, and especially for us, you know, the city of Sydney, that he desires for everyone to hear the gospel and repent. The war has come to us, and we um, need to tell those who can't tell their own hand from their left hand um, about God, um, and we'll pray that they will repent and that salvation will come to those. Jonah 4, verse 12, hasn't been written. I think God's going to write Jonah 4, 12 in your hearts. The story's going to continue in your experience, in my experience. Let me